Hi Virgo, this is your reading for March 2021 and uh, this will not resonate with uh, all of you. Even though it's a collective reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you. It's that for uh, Virgo that needs to hear this message though, okay? And it could be a bit vice versa, so keep that in mind. As you can see, I already shuffled the cards. Um, I don't care if you guys believe me or not. And there's no reason why I wouldn't do that in advance. It's just that I don't want to waste my time. For It's a free reading. So, you know, and YouTube, it takes such a long time to load. So I'm just trying to minimize my minutes here. I will do the... Um, I will do the clarifications and oracles, so don't worry about that, okay? But I just started off like right away, shuffling, shuffling takes a while. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, guys, um, let's go ahead and jump in. As I was doing this, uh, Virgo, I am so excited for you. I feel this is so far the best reading I've done, okay? So far, I hope I'll have more <laughs> great readings for other people in regards to their love, life in general, right? Whoever you're dealing, connecting with here. So Virgo, listen to this. Um, and I'm not going to, you know, point the fingers. I'm just going to say someone here. And then you just put the puzzle together. Take whatever resonates. And only take what resonates, okay? Because there's tons of uh, Virgos out there. So here we go. Virgo, someone here has been manifesting something with a magician card. And someone here knows they have what it takes that can make something wonderful here to, uh, you know, um, happen within this relationship, whoever you're dealing with. This is a reading for somebody that is definitely, I feel, okay, already with somebody. Unless something happens super fast in March <laughs> with somebody new here, okay? But I feel that, I feel this is you i don't know why i could be wrong this could be you but someone here is manifesting something something and it's going to happen it's going to happen they're ma they're manifesting the ten of cups someone here is manifesting the ten of cups and that's manifesting a family contentment total love and support being one together feeling complete and satisfied in your love life virgo if you're not already feeling this happening it will happen okay someone here within this manifestation because that's what they're focus one that's what they're focusing right here that's what they want right that's what someone here wants they are gonna take this leap of faith with you or you with them you know this is taking a risk and the connection here. This is the fool. It's like having this fresh hope. This taking a chance or something here that you guys know it's worth it. You know, it's like going on a new path together, new adventures, new beginnings, okay? Someone here knows your worth, Virgo. Okay? Someone here knows your worth. All right, and this is the Empress. It's like creation, you know, pregnancy for some, abundance, for fertility, good parenting, good wife or husband. Because this could be, you know, um, male or female energy. This is somebody that they know that they, it's definitely a partnership that they know that could transform into a marriage. Like this person sees you, Virgo, as the one, as the one that they could marry, if not married yet, okay? We, you have a lot of great cards here. Yeah, you have some here um, that is a bit off, but it's, it's fixable. It's not, I don't think it's that terrible, okay? And then, you know, so all these cards up here are looking great. Then we have the Four of Wands, Virgo. You know, it's like uh, celebration, family celebration, friends, uh, reunions, uh, a wedding, uh, engagement. Something here that's going to be celebrated between you guys. And it's it has to do with love. You know, this is the Four of Wands. This is committing to something here. For some, this is even, you know, uh, engagement, marriage, definitely a higher level of commitment here. Because you manifested this, you are manifesting this, uh, Virgo. 
and with the four of uh, cups in reverse. It's like a new outlook on a direction, a new purpose, a new option. You're changing your life here and things are looking good, okay? With the justice, you're finding balance. This is balanced, you know? This is like, um, uh, how can I say? These are things being fair within each other. And this is all mutual feeling, which is even better, you know? It's like a cause and effect. It's a win-win solutions here. And the truth com coming out in regards situations, because we have the moon here and there's some truth that's gonna be revealed to you that's kind of blocked right now. The moon could be a little bit of secrecy, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, hidden, but something's gonna be revealed to you. It could possibly even, even be that somebody's gonna uh, surprise you. I don't wanna ruin their surprise, you know, uh, with this higher level of commitments for you, Virgo. <laughs> I'm sorry, cross watcher. I mean, you know, the cards just pop out, but, and with the three here of um, pentacles is, uh, you know, it means uh, teamwork, collaboration, having this uh, uh, skilled, is it being skilled in love, you know, finding the, the quality that it needs into the relationship to maintain it. You know, it's like uh, crafting this together, not separate. It's both going halfway for each other. It's like meeting halfway, you know, all the way, actually, because... <laughs> You know, with these cards here, you know, I, I smell and I feel this, this is like, you know, true love here going on. And then we have the devil. It's like sneaky devil. Where'd you come from right here? What the heck? You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, like you got a beautiful spread and all of a sudden you got something like this and it kind of threw me off a little. <laughs> It's just possible that somebody here has some kind of, uh, kind of, not for all of you guys, not all Virgos, okay? But it could be like an addiction or greedy, envy, you know, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, something being controlling here. I don't think really because of all these cards that are here that it, this is something that could be worked on, okay? This is something that could be worked on. I mean, everybody have their flaws, right, Virgo? Nobody's perfect, you're not going to find the perfect gal, perfect guy. As long as you can live with their flaws and, and something that can be worked on, I think it's perfectly fine. Because this here that I'm seeing right now, I feel that this is going to be transformed right here. This is going to be changed. Okay? This is going to be either erased or changed because this card here is right next to it because it's a teamwork. It's like you guys helping each other out, supporting each other through thick and thin that's what marriages are right that's where sometimes relationships when they're serious and they love that person they're supporting each other into certain things right so this is uh you know with um with the death card here it's like um this huge transformation this huge transition happening in your life um I feel, you know, since you guys are together, both of you guys life pretty much. Death is big changes and, and, and big endings. When something is ending, something is beginning here. It's time to move on from the situation. That's what I'm hearing. It's time to move on from this kind of behavior or whatever, okay? That's what the spirits are telling me. Thank you. It's It's like obsession you know with this here but the, with the death it's like saying that you know a rebirth a transformation things are changing and and for the better because you've been praying for this virgo and it's happening this is like wishing for something praying you know sending the energy out that you know this is like wishing upon a star and it's coming true and taurus even though this is a march 2021 reading when i get this card it's it, taurus is this person a taurus did i did i just say taurus it could be that somebody's dealing here with a taurus <laughs> not at all okay but so um, anyways or taurus in their chart but anyways uh virgo this means that 
to me, I use this as a timing card. This to me could be three to six months from now, okay? That the change is gonna happen or it starts to happen, okay? So be patient, be patient. And we have the six of wands in the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is victory, victorious. This is gonna be Virgo. This is it. The person you are seeing right now. You know, this is like a twin flame, you know. Um, um victory a, a word of a recognition of some kind good news and success this connection is or will be successful Taurus. i'm gonna put this card aside right there okay you guys are completing a goal here together or a lesson or some of you might involve travel but definitely a completion of some kind here. As if, I would say like this. As if you guys have been dating, going out, seeing each other for a while. Let's say a, a long time. A while now. It doesn't have to be long. Because I know people that get married within six months, you know. <laughs> I mean, but you guys have known each other. And you've been there. And, been, and you've been hoping for this to happen. And it's going to happen. It's going to be victorious. I think you found the one, Virgo. Okay. I don't even think I need any clarifications here. Because this... My table right now is looking so good with your cards here. I even I am jealous <laughs> in a good way. I'm happy for you, Virgo. That's a compliment. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the spirit want me to clarify here. They say that there's not much here because everything is laid out on the table for you. But we're going to get more here, right? We're going to get more. Okay, so they want me to clarify this devil card here, the annoying card. Let's see. All right, spirits, what do you have to say in regards to that card? In verse, what clarification is that? Yeah, clarify that for us. What's up with that? Because that doesn't need to be there, really. We're going to clear that out. We're going to clear and clarify. Let's see. Thank you. Yes, you're going to be using your... Um, we get the higher priestess. You're going to be using your uh, intuition a lot. You know, I feel that... You've been um, somebody here. Not it doesn't have to be you. Somebody here has been hiding this from people. You know, keep, they keep more for themselves the situation. Um, so this is telling me that you know it's like a mystery. But you're gonna be. It, this is saying trust yourself. Trust. Trust on the connection. Okay, Virgo. This will be cleared out. Just trust that it's gonna work because you're sending this message out there to the law of attraction trust and you know it's gonna work use your intuition and then we're gonna clear this card out i'm gonna put this right above because that car will not belong to you anymore because you guys are gonna work on that together okay because if you guys love each other which it looks like here you know um obviously relationships are not perfect but you are, you guys will have to my, manipulate the situation and work on it and, and clear it okay uh doesn't have to be perfect but at least at least you guys are working on together not separate okay oh my gosh look at the bottom hierophant i got the hierophant card traditions uh you know expectations conformity marriage wedding this is a priest you know um Yes, yes, somebody is definitely going to get married here if not married yet. And if you're married, this relationship is going to go to a higher level of commitment, even more for some, even renewing their vows. And for others, it's just this, you know, for people that don't believe in marriage, it, this, it doesn't matter. This is telling me that there's going to be engagement there or, or actually it's going to be like um, a, a strong commitment. Okay, guys, that's, I don't know how else to say it. I'm going to put this card aside. What else should we uh, clarify here? Uh, uh huh. Everything looks so good. Okay, so what is it? What is it? Okay, this person. Okay, the, the Empress, how this person sees you. 
uh, as the one, okay? You want me to clarify that one, but let's go ahead and do it. All right, Virgo, thank you. Okay, okay. So we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is like somebody, you know, they finally, they're, they're clear in regards to their, their choice here. Um, the Seven of Cups is clarity, the illusion and restore senses. Um, not having, you know, you know this, this person, their option is you, Virgo. This could be vice versa. And this could be mutual, right? Only you know. It's a, they're done looking around and search for other lovers and, you know, dating sites or whatever they may be online. Whoever this is, they know that this is the one. And this was clarifying this, see? You are the one. They know that this is like, there's no other for them. You are good enough for them, Virgo. They, they, you are all that's in their mind. You're the one that they want to be for the rest of their life. There we go. Thank you, spirits. Let's get some uh, oracle cards here. Oracle cards. Wow, wow. So whoever this is, they're done. They don't want to see nobody else. They they don't. They they you are the love of their life, Virgo. This is beautiful. You know how many people wish they could have this kind of intense and beautiful love relationship? Like this, you know. This is the kind of things that happens in movies, but it's actually happening in your life. Are going to happen within three to six months from now. But we're doing this reading March. I guess that's what they wanted you to know. Some might already been happening. You might already kind of be there, being there right now. And this is just a confirmation for you, right? Let's get going here. I don't even know. I gotta think what I'm gonna call this. Um, I might call it you're good enough or something, but this is just just lovely. I just love this reading. I love this reading. Whoa. <laughs> Things are moving here. We got ghosts in this house. Okay. Put it back there. All right. <laughs> oh, just love this reading. I do. I do. Wow, look at this. Look what I just got. Look what I just got. Engagement ring. Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Wow. 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 <laughs> Love call. This is your calling. This situation is your calling. The universe gave you this connection, this relationship as a gift. Someone expresses their love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Thank you. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, universe. You're amazing. All right, let's see the romance angels now. What the romance angels have to say? What advice or messages they have for Virgo in regards to situation with this situation? What else should Virgo know? Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirits. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Take that however that resonates. I'm just going to put it here. It came out. <laughs> All right. What else? What else for Virgo? So, oh, there we go. Okay. True love. 
This is the romance of a lifetime, Virgo. One more. One more, please. Ooh, okay. Didn't I say that with the devil card? Co uh, codependence addictions are affecting your romantic life so this is something you guys are probably gonna have to work on before you jump on that uh commitment thing okay so that when you guys go through it this is why it takes time sometimes three to six months because when you guys go through it this is just the angel saying there's something there that somebody needs to work on it it could be alcoholism it could be this it doesn't mean they have to drop everything and stop their life completely for someone but just the effort of showing that they're trying should be good enough you know what i'm saying okay all right, so trust in the bottom of the deck. The situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? All right, Taurus. So, yes, that's a beautiful reading. That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Oh, boy, because I did. I love doing readings like this. I always hope for readings like this, you know, but the truth, nothing but the truth, okay, guys? All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, if anybody needs a private reading, just reach out to me and we'll make an appointment, okay? Thank you, guys. Much love to you all. Be safe out there. Namaste.